Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kendall Alexis and in today's video, I will be bringing you guys a What's in My Bag 2022. Alright, so I'm just gonna hop right into it, but before I show you guys what is in my bag, I just want to tell you guys that the bag that I do have is from Shein. A lot of my bags, if not all of them, are literally from Shein. Every time I place an order on Shein, I be sure to pick up a bag because I just can never have too many bags you know what I mean so the bag that I have is just this black ruched shoulder bag a lot of my bags are shoulder bags I just love shoulder bags but I'm gonna do an updated what's in my bag once I get the bag that I want like my everyday bag whereas like the purses that I have now they're more so cute bags that you will want to wear when you're wearing a nice outfit or whatever they're definitely like not day-to-day -day bags but they're not bags that you can't wear day-to-day -day. but yeah so this is the bag that I have and I've had it for a while now but I do find myself using this bag way more than a lot of my other bags once I get the bag that I want I will be sure to make an updated what's in my bag because this is really small and I don't like to carry a lot of things in my purse which you'll see once I show you guys what's in my purse I am definitely looking to get a tote bag I am just obsessed with totes like I want a tote bag so freaking bad because I need a bag that is gonna be like every day like I said that I could just wear when I'm out even though I don't carry a lot in my bag like there are certain days where I do carry more than I usually would on a day-to-day -day basis and so for that that's why I want a tote bag not only that they're also cute so it's just like it's just the win-win if I just buy it for storage and like for space and just buying it just to be cute so if they still have this bag on the site I will be sure to link it in the description box down below but enough of talking I'm just gonna show you guys what is in my bag when you open up my purse it's a lot going on in here but you know it works for me I'm just gonna show you guys what's very standard and what's just always going to be in a bag so the first thing you see when you open my bag because it's probably the biggest thing in my bag is going to be my wallet and the wallet that i have is a michael kors pretty standard i keep my cards id you know all my cards like i have like an ulta card i also have a loyalty card with my nail tech and then you know i just keep money or change whenever i do have cash on me i probably had this wallet for i don't even know how long i've had this wallet for but long enough to the point where i need a new one and i I don't need a new one but I just want a new one once I treat myself to a tote bag I'm probably gonna buy a new wallet as well this one is really compact and convenient like like I said a lot of my bags are small so for me to have a huge wallet isn't really mm, I don't really know what you would say but it's not really ideal for me to have a larger wallet than this because it literally would not fit or it would take up majority of my purse so that's why I bought the compact version but when I do carry money it is kind of annoying because I have to fold up all of my bills and you know when you're just trying to access your money quick and easy like it's just hard when you have to go through all of your cash but definitely I'm gonna switch to one of the longer wallets that I would be able to lay my money out and just finger through it very very easily rather than taking all of my money out and then everyone seeing how much money I got and you know so then the next thing that I have in my wallet is just in my wallet the next thing that I have in my purse is just my keys pretty standard like I said and we're just gonna go over the little basic standard everything that everyone has in their purse I want to change my lanyard so freaking bad because this is like disgusting like I used to wear this in high school and I also had the wallet to go with this and I would just carry my ID and my money at the time when I was in high school because it was just compact and I never carried a purse around when I was in high school so to have a lanyard with the wallet on it and then me be able to keep everything in there that's why I have this I really want to get rid of it it's dirty for one for two I need to wash it for three it just needs to go I don't know when I'm gonna treat myself to it but I'm gonna treat myself to it real real soon because I just have been wanting a tote bag a new wallet a new keychain like I've just been wanting new everything with this because I've had them for years at this point this is from Vera Bradley this is like <laughs> this is all chewed up from my dog and yeah i just never got around to taking it off i've had this ever since i've gotten my key this is my very first key to my house and i still have it from when i was in sixth grade so then the last thing that is on my keys is just this pink teddy bear that says i heart chicago and that's where i live i live in chicago i live in illinois i actually have a video up on my channel when me and my boyfriend hit our one year anniversary and i recorded a get ready with me to go on a date with my boyfriend and that's when we purchased the 
these. We both have a little bear that we purchased when we went down there. We got it from Navy Pier, like one of the little shops that they usually have. He has a clear one, I got the pink one. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's on my keys. Like pretty standard and very, mm, like I need to get rid of it. So the next thing is just hand sanitizer. You need to keep hand sanitizer in your bag or on you at all times because you don't know when you're gonna need it. And yeah, you pretty much need it all the time now that Miss Rona is a thing, so. So the next thing that I carry in my purse is just lotion. I took it from my mom because I felt like she didn't use it. I feel like a lot of stuff that my mom buys, she doesn't use and then once I take it and put it to use, it seems like she just want it back, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. I always keep lotion in my purse because your girl is always ashy, especially my hands. And when you're constantly washing your hands, you know, they just dry out. So having lotion in your bag is definitely something you need to carry. So then the next thing that I keep in my purse is just this peppermint twist lip balm from Ulta. I bought this from Ulta. I asked a woman at Ulta what she recommended and I usually don't keep chapstick on me because I feel like chapstick does exactly the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Yeah sometimes my lips just need a little bit of moisturizing and I just throw this on when I don't want to wear lip gloss. And then everything else that is in my purse is literally lip products. If you cannot tell I have on, you probably can tell, but I have on all of these on my lips. Well, not all of them. I don't have these two on. All of these I use on my lips whenever I do my makeup. These two are literally just lip glosses, like I said. Like, if I want to look a little bit cuter than, you know, moisturized lips, I would definitely go ahead and use some lip gloss. This lip gloss is literally just from the beauty supply store. And then this lip gloss I just got not too long ago from Ulta. It's just the juice infused lip oil. I love this so freaking much. Like, I find myself putting this on a lot more during the day than the lip balm. My mom had purchased this when we went to Ulta and I just wanted to buy it so I bought it for myself and I am absolutely in love with this lip gloss. I've had this lip pencil like it's so beat up like I've had this lip pencil for a freaking while now and it's just the MAC lip liner in chestnut. A lot of girls has been using the NYX one and I honestly want to try that because this one is like $23 or something like that and the NYX one is supposed to be more affordable and if I could find a dupe that's more affordable then why not? Like why wouldn't I use it? You know what I mean? And this here is just a brush. It's an elf brush. I use this once I line my lips. I just go in and I fade the line just so it's not a harsh line. I'm a little extra when it comes to having this brush because honestly if you just line your lips and rub them together it'll do just what the brush is doing but I don't know I just feel the need to have a brush. So that's why I always keep my lip products in my bag specifically the lip liner and the brush because you know if you're going out to eat you know you want to reapply your lip liner your lip gloss. All right so that's pretty much everything that I keep in my purse. Like I said I will have a lot of these links in the description box down below. Pretty standard pretty basic but I just felt like it was a cool video to film and you know me being me and liking purses I just feel like this is a very fitting video for me. Comment down below some things that you guys keep in your bags that you think is really essential that I don't have that you think would be good for me to add to my bag because like I said very very soon I'm gonna be purchasing a tote bag because I really 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 Really, really want a freaking tote bag so I'm gonna have way more space than what is that little purse to add to my bag and be able to carry more things on a daily basis don't forget to like this video comment down below your thoughts on this video as well as letting me know any of the essential things that you guys keep in your bags and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribed then what are you doing we're on the road to 200 subscribers so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and I will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.